Hello my friends, it's Mo. I haven't done a video blog in a little while, so I wanted to send some love your way and just say God bless you today. And I also wanted to just talk to you about some things that I've been just meditating on. And um, really it's just day-to-day -day life. It's just how do we learn to cast our cares on the Lord with our everyday life? We can say it all day long, oh, I trust God with this, but do we truly trust him? Are we truly casting our cares on him? And so maybe it's, waiting on test results. Maybe it's the, you know, you're waiting to get that call from the doctor with some test results. That can be excruciating for our flesh, right? And so we need to just say, Lord, you already know what the answer to these results are. And Lord, I know that you're our healer and whatever happens, Lord, I know you're with me. And so that's how we learn how to cast it. And then maybe it's your 16 year old daughter just got her license and not just her permit. And now she's able to get behind the wheel of a car without you in the car. And let me tell you, your control issues are kind of through the roof, right? Or maybe she even has her little brother in the car and you're like, oh my goodness, Lord, you have got to watch over them. Those are, that's two of my children, you know, and, and just learning how to just say, you know what, God, you know, every hair on their head, you have already written their story. You know, the plans and the purposes you have for them. I trust you with them. They're your children. It's learning how to know what's in God's word so that we can renew our spirit to that and renew our minds to that. And so, um, I think it's also maybe just saying, oh, I feel like I might need to take a part-time job to help out with finances and, you know, or, you know, is it time to put the kids in school or am I to keep homeschooling or is it time for me to go to work or should I be home with my kids? And so many questions, our day-to-day -day choices, our day-to-day -day decisions are what can steal so much of our joy if we do not bring Jesus into every little decision. And we're to trust him with everything. And I've said this before, he gets the, the main vote, he gets the deciding vote, he gets to decide and you need to let the Lord decide because he's gonna decide anyway so trust him in that and so maybe instead of worrying maybe we need to bless the Lord and so sometimes to get our mind off our own problems we need to get our mind on Jesus amen and so this morning I was I was like Lord I want to bless you I just want to want to say your words out loud I want to read the Psalms and so I found this in Psalm 103 today and I wanted to share it with you bless the Lord O my soul and forget not all of his benefits who forgives all our iniquities who heals all our diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, amen? Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Maybe you need your youth renewed like the eagles. I know how that feels. And um, you know, maybe it's just you need to feel better and it's just being like, Lord, help me today. You know, one of the best things that we can ever say is help me, Jesus. He's waiting for us to just reach out to him so that he can solve our problems, so that he can say, finally, Mo, you're letting me lead. You know, those are just the things that we have to learn to do every day, renew our minds to that, teach ourselves, talk to ourselves, retrain our brains to know we need to do what this word says. And this word says to trust God and I trust him. And so today I bless you. I pray that you have an amazing day. Bless your families. Bless your day. Amen.